When light reflects off a curved surface, it forms a pattern of bright uh, called acoustic. We are going to investigate caustics in a cylinder using a perspex cylinder uh, with a paper in the bottom marked in gradations of a tenth of a radius and a small point light source. Here we start with the light source at the circumference and then as we move the uh, light source towards the center we see uh, the, the shape of the caustic changes. In fact we have three cusps here at the bottom and we're going to see yes there's another cusp at the top as we pull the uh, light source in towards the center of the circle. And we're going to analyze these using geometry expressions. I'm going to model the caustic using geometry expressions. I've created a circle centered at the origin of radius 1. I've created a light source at 0 minus a and I've reflected a, a line going through the point d on the circumference of the circle uh, in the tangent at d. Point d has been specified to be at parametric location t on the circle. Uh, t is measures angle around the circle. To create the caustic uh, I need to create the envelope of the reflected ray. Here I select the, the ray and the locus tool. In the case where a line is selected, the locus tool gives me uh, the envelope of that line. So here's the envelope curve, which uh, is the model of the caustic. I look a little bit closer at the drawing. I can see, what do I mean by the envelope curve? Well, as I, I can see as I drag the point D round that the curve stays tangent to the reflected line. It's in fact the uh, locus of all the tangents, is it locus of all the tangents? Now as I drag our light source we can see the different shapes that this curve can take. There's the light source at the circumference and here we're pulling the light source in towards the center. I'm interested in a couple of things. With geometry expressions I can find the uh, equation of the caustic, that's the parametric equation for the caustic in terms of t. Um, now I'm actually interested in the location of this cusp, the central cusp here. In fact we can see there's uh, four cusps in the, in the, on the curve, one here, one here, one here, and one here. But this is the one I'm interested in. Now, what is the T value when I am at the cusp? We'll look at the reflected line and we can see that I'm going to be at that cusp just as T is up there at the 90 degree location or at the pi by 2 location. So, uh, you could work out the location of that cusp if you substituted uh, pi by 2 into those equations, pi by 2 for T. Well, we can have geometric expressions do that. It can do that if we take, if we stick a point on the curve and we specify its location on the curve, we specify its parametric location to a parametric location, we want that to be location pi by 2. And that will put it right there at the cusp, and it will stay at the cusp as I drag, uh, I drag the point around. Well, let's start with the situation where A is, uh, where the point C is at the circumference, and that is where A is 1. Okay, here's the curve, um, and we ask 
where is the location E? Well, it's at the point zero one third. We can check that that is correct by looking again at the actual light caustic. When the light source is at the circumference we see that the cusp is at just beyond the third ring. Now I'm going to look at the more general case. Let me uh, turn the coordinate again from instead of min minus 1 I'll put it at minus A and then I will drag. Now I'm second case I'm interested in is where this top cusp is touching the circumference of the circle. Now where is that top cusp? Now let's stick in a stick a point onto the circum onto the uh, uh, cu uh, caustic. Where do we reach that top cusp? Well, let's pull the round until the reflected ray kind of goes through that top cusp. We see, oh, it's going to be at the 270 degree location at the location, the parametric location, 3 pi by 2. So we specify the, the parametric location of F is 3 pi by 2. And we see that's, that's up in the right place. Uh, given that, what are the coordinates of F? And we can see it's 0 um, minus A over minus 1 plus 2A. So we want to solve for A such that the Y coordinate there is 1. Okay, can you do that? If I do it, I say, OK, 1 times minus 1 plus 2A equals minus A. So minus 1 plus 3A equals 0. That means 3A equals 1, or A equals a third. OK, so if we stick A equals a third into here, We see, indeed, the y-coordinate up there is 1. And the y-coordinate of E is 1 fifth. And again, looking at the, uh, the video of the light caustic, we see that that's round about the second circle. We see when the outer cusp is at the circumference, the inner cusp is round about the second ring. Finally, let's change this back to A again. What's going to happen to the y-coordinate of E as A gets large? A over minus 1 plus 2A. Well, as A gets big, the minus 1 is small with respect to A. So this is going to tend to be A over 2A, or a half. And we see that if we have lights outside the circle, um, and here was a number of different lights um, in our background lighting, we see the cusps are round about the fifth circle or a half the way out. With the ambient light, which is tantamount to infinity, we see the cusps are round about the fifth 